Today I'm making sauerkraut balls. This is an easy recipe. Pay close attention and please do not blink so you won't miss out on any part of this recipe. Let's get started. My dry ingredients are chicken seasoning, parsley, onion powder, cumin, oregano, paprika, accent, basil, and breadcrumbs. Drain all the juice from your sauerkraut by pressing the sauerkraut down and removing all the liquid. Next we have our sauteed vegetables, purple cabbage, sweet onions, carrots, ginger, and garlic. After our sauerkraut balls have been shaped and refrigerated, we're going to roll them in one beaten egg, flour, and breadcrumbs. In a small bowl, we have our drained sauerkrauts. Now we're going to add in our sauteed vegetables, our purple cabbage, sweet onions, carrots, ginger, and garlic. Mix these ingredients together. Let's add in a mixture of our dry spices. With these added spices, you want to combine all of these ingredients again. Let's add in our breadcrumbs and give the ingredients a quick mix. Add in the flour and continue mixing. In your mixture, you want to add in enough breadcrumbs and flour because it will help hold your sauerkraut balls together more. After you finish combining your ingredients, place them in the refrigerator for two hours or the freezer for 40 minutes. Once your mixture is chilled, it will help with shaping and rolling your sauerkrauts perfectly. Now we are ready to shape our sauerkraut balls. Let's roll each ball about one to two inches. We need to complete the rolling process quickly so the balls can still be cool when we drop them in the oil. Roll and shape the mixture tightly to avoid the balls from breaking open during the frying process. Most people add cooked meat in their sauerkraut balls. For instance, they add Italian sausage, ground turkey, or even beef. If you eat sauerkraut balls, put the type of meat you use in your recipe in the comment box below. Roll your sauerkraut ball around in the flour, then dip it into the egg wash. Lastly, coat it with your breadcrumbs. 
and then place it on a paper towel. You're going to continue this process until all of your sauerkraut balls have been rolled in the flour, dipped in the egg wash, and coated in your breadcrumbs. I love using panko breadcrumbs because it enhances that crispy texture once you bite into the sauerkraut balls. Sauerkraut balls are good to eat for New Year's because it brings you good luck. Aside from that, they're also a good game day snack or even great to serve at other events. They're crunchy on the outside and so soft and delicious in the middle, people just love them. Now that we have rolled all of our sauerkraut balls, we can start frying. In a cast iron skillet over a medium high heat, you want to pour in a half a cup of vegetable oil. Once your oil is hot enough, you want to drop in your sauerkraut balls. You want to let them fry until they're golden brown. Then remove them from the oil, place them on a paper towel to drain. You want to fry your sauerkraut balls for three minutes on each side until you get that desired golden brown color that you're looking for. Thank you for watching my sauerkraut balls recipe. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Before I go, I want to pop open one of these sauerkraut balls so y'all can see what they look like on the inside.
when you look on the inside of this sauerkraut boss you can see the purple cabbage the sweet onions the sauerkraut a little bit of the spices and it looks tasty i just can't wait to bite into it this is my favorite part now let's get straight into the bloopers baby in this clip i'm frying my sauerkraut balls and notice the vegetables at the bottom of the cast iron skillet apparently one of my balls wasn't rolled tight enough and it burst in the oil so i'm short of sauerkraut ball hmm. 